Abu Bakr oh, Ghazali. Yeah. He says, Muhammad came uh, with Tawheed. So we asked for reasons to believe that Muhammad is a true prophet. And Abu Bakr, who believes in Tawheed, said, well, Muhammad came with Tawheed. So Muhammad came. Now notice, notice the circularity, by the way, already, right? Here is the true concept of God brought by Muhammad. Okay, well, how do you know that Muhammad's a true prophet? Because he brought this concept of God that I've already decided is true. Now, now notice you you could you could say that about anything, right? If you're if you're if you're a Christian who believes in the Trinity, and someone says, "How do you know that that's true?" Well, because the 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 authors of the Bible brought forth the doctrine of the Trinity, as we all know, and it's true. So so this proves that it's the Word of God. Do you, do you see the circularity there, Abu Bakr Ghazali? Uh, but anyway, so uh, Christian Prince Sam. Why is this a really, really bad argument? That's right. CP, does Islam really teach Tawheed, the worship of one God, or are there other gods? Or did first, of all, Tawheed, of first, first of all, Tawheed is not worship in oneness. Tawheed in Arabic means to unify. So how it is one, but it unify. So is it one about one as number or one about unity? The word Tawheed is a wrong word to use to prove the point. And this is a proving to us how silly Islam is. They don't speak Arabic, they don't know Arabic, and then they, yet they use the word Tawheed, which is against what Muslims claim. Because when you say Tawheed, ask anyone. You can type it right now in Google. Tawheed, that's mean unification. Tawheed does not mean oneness. It means unification. Like, you know, Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiya, I just said, unification of the Arabian states. As simple as that, perfect sentence. So the word Tawheed is wrong. Secondly, as long as Allah is one, and by the way, who cares if Allah is one or ten? If there is an Indian guy, he have one thousand God, but they are true God. Still, he is a true. Yeah. The number doesn't mean any different. I mean, this is stupid. Like if somebody says, "I have ten cars," and he have ten cars, well, they are ten. Hello. So if there is ten God, there is ten gods. If there is one, there is one. That will not change anything. Secondly, if 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 Allah is one, how he say in the Quran, in chapter twenty one, verse number seventeen, if we desire. To take a partner as a wife, lahwan, women, we will take it from ourselves. If Allah is one, how he will marry from himself? I challenge any Muslim to solve the problem. Because he is one. You see, the Muslim, when we say to them, Allah, he say we, they say this is a majestic statement. Like king, we say we. Okay, but here is talking about taking a partner, which is a woman. So in chapter 21, verse number 17, it says, had we desire to take to us a partner, and Arabic it says lehwan, which means a female woman, we will take it from ourself. Okay, how Allah can take partner with ourself if He is the only unique person who have a kind of Himself? You know what I mean, uh, David and Sam? Yes, sir, I understand. That means there has to be more than one for Allah to take a partner from them. Yeah, can can we marry God? To a woman, normal woman, can we marry God oh. to, uh, to a donkey? Can we marry God? I mean, when he says ourself, he himself, he used the word ourself. So as long as ourself, it's been from us. And to say from us, okay, that's mean, okay, we are the same kind. Yeah. So you under, everyone understood what he just said. This guy's blaspheming. Mm. Okay. You under, everyone understood what he just said. When he says that we can take a partner from uh, from ourselves, that means ourselves must be a true plural. There has to be more than one. And Allah then can choose from one among those that are with him to be his his girlfriend, his lover. So that again refutes Tawheed. What about CP in chapter 112 of the Quran, Surah Al-Ikhlas, where it says, Allah Ahad. Can you explain the real meaning of when it says, Kul Allahu Ahad. Explain the real meaning of there because the Muslims have deceived us into thinking that the word Ahad there means one. What does it really mean in Arabic? The word Ahad mean one of does not mean one. The word one in Arabic is Wahid. So when we say Wahid, it's mean one. When we say Ahad, we mean one of. And this is appear in more than 29 a place in the Quran at least, or 30. And it says all of them, you can check anywhere where it says Ahad. And last time actually we spoke about it. That the Quran keeps saying, like, we don't differentiate with our prophet between any of them. And the word any of is ahad. Uh, as an example, uh, if you read, uh, Sam, you can read the chapter 3, verse number 73. Okay, let me get it for you, yeah. CP. You, uh, let me get it. Just in, mm -hmm. Let me get it, folks. One second. Here goes the Quran browser. Chapter 3, verse 73. We're going to get it. So, guys, listen to what he's saying because he knows the Arabic. It's his mother tongue. 
Don't let Muslims deceive you. Ahad in chapter 112 verse 1 doesn't mean one. It means one of. So Allah is one of what? Now let me read 373 for CP. I'm going to read Pikthal, even though you can correct his mistranslation. It's 373. And believe not save in one who followeth your religion. Say, O Muhammad, lo, the guidance is Allah's guidance, that anyone is given the like of that which was given unto you, or that you that they may argue with you in the presence of their Lord. Say, O Muhammad, lo, the bounty is in Allah's hand. He bestoweth it on whom he will. Allah is all-embracing, all-knowing. So is that the part where it says anyone? Anyone, exactly. So that's Ahad, right? <laughs> So, and see here, here see the hypocrisy. How Ahad in that verse only in the whole Quran suddenly became one when the whole Quran translates the word Ahad as any one or one off. You see the hypocrisy? How the word suddenly changed. Ahad always means one off. You know, one off, uh, one of many, one of two, one of three, one of four, doesn't matter. He is one of others. So when Allah He says Allah is Ahad, well that's a, that's a problem and that's a mistake. Unless He is saying Allah is Ahad, the God who was around the Kaaba. There was one of the idols who was around the Kaaba, whose name is Ahad. So hmm. it might be that Allah or the verse saying say that Allah is the same as Ahad. It's just another name for Ahad. No. You know, when the Muslims, by the way, when the Muslims, they say Allah, uh, uh, Muhammad, he came for Tawheed, right? Yes. Okay, uh, the, the, the Kaaba have 360 uh, uh, idols. So do we unite, unify them all? We became, all, we, we made them all Allah? Is that what it's mean? This was mean. It's CP, to add to this point, guys, pay attention. Chapter 112 says Allah is one of. That's first mistake, proving Quran doesn't teach Tawheed. Secondly, CP, isn't it true in chapter 9, verse 31, it says that Allah wants people to take Him and Messiah as lords and no one else. Yeah, this is actually when, but when you, when you read the translation, it comes differently. Yes. They say, they take Allah oh, yeah. and, and yeah. So in Arabic, it says, you know, uh, 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 they are taking their monks and their rabbis as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. But the Muslims in their translation, they put it as they wish and they change it. So they make it no. They took their monks and their rabbis and Jesus as God instead of Allah. When the fact this is a fabrication. So you're saying the Arabic clearly, because you know the Arabic, the English, we don't know, we, we're English speakers, poor us. You're saying chapter 9 verse 31 says that the Jews and Christians, their mistake was that they took the rabbis and monks as lords besides Allah and the Messiah, meaning that Allah and the Messiah should be their one Lord. That's what the Arabic says? Yes, exactly. This is what the Quran is saying. I will read in Arabic and I change the Muslim to say online. اتخذوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أربابا من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا إلها واحدا لا إله إلا هو سبحانه وتعالى notice by the way it says it clearly instead of the messiah and allah and then it says the word wahidan you see the word one that is one wahid not ahad that is the correct one that, that's the correct word for the word one wahid hmm. in that verse not ahad